The Big Show with Night and Day. Barista made coffee just the way you love it. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest. The biggest. The biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Now, oh, g'day, you mad bass. It's great to have your company this Friday afternoon, the 12th of April, 2024. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night and, and day. day. Muggy, your stallion, how's life? Going pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee. Interesting story about the Paralympics there on the old uh, news there, Keezy. Did you hear that, man? No, I wasn't. Yeah, a little, uh, little news flash there. You know why they call it the Paralympics? Yeah. Why? Well, because a lot of the, um, they're all para-athletes. What does that mean? So, a lot of them have uh, disabilities and things like that? That's true. Well, they all do. That's why yeah. it's there. But, yeah, para means actually because it runs parallel to the abled body Olympics. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not what you were saying. Anyway, how you been, Hoity Joe? <laughs> Don't start the show <laughs> with that absolute hospital pass <laughs> on live radio. Uh, Are you serious? <laughs> Can you see you, mad bastard? How's life? No, it's, 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 what? <laughs> now listen, I, I've, I've got a bit of an issue here. Um, just what a massive prick. <laughs> a bit of an issue, um, and, and I'm I'm really conscious of the fact that lately um, Pugsan in Studio B, he's been yeah. a bit, you know, he's. Been a bit moody. Oh, yeah. I think he's been in a hurry of a mood. And dear, uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at the breakdown of the show here today, fellas, on the page that old Pugsan does every single day without fail for us. And what an outstanding job he does, except <laughs> the date's wrong on this. Oh, for God. Uh, oh, and God. I very, very nearly <laughs> read the wrong day. And he's Pugsan, storming out. He is storming yeah. out of Studio B. I mean, he's got one job. Um, <laughs> which is to make us look good, which so is a I bigger see, job than just putting the date there. So you guys are going for full throw over and under the bus mode today, are we? No, not at all, Keezy. Not a, but all right. how are you, Keezy? Because I know that you came here for the radio awards uh, and you got on at about 11.30, <laughs> apparently, because you're looking very hooded. Your eyes are looking very hooded. Uh, you need a beer, man. Do you, do you need another little pick-me-up? No, no, I've had a couple of responsible beverages, mm. uh, diet seven-ups they were this oh, afternoon, yeah. uh, but I'm here to do a, a good job. Um, and I'd appreciate if anyone's got any like trivia questions about certain <laughs> things, just run it by me beforehand. <laughs> hey, as always, it's a Friday, so shout out Friday. Text us 3483. Send us a talk back on the iHeartRadio app. Or oh, if you want to, you can give us a call on 0800 Hodaki and you, get a, you go in the draw for a $50 night and day voucher. Yeah. Oh, tune a bit of guns. Ooh. Roses. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, a bit of tool there for you this Friday afternoon. The time is exactly 15 minutes past uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, any shout outs there, Keezy, on 3483? Yeah, g'day, uh, sh- oh, sorry, g'day, fellas. Shout out well, to the good bastards at Skin Flute Builders in Christchurch, working hard. Got them again. Yeah, great. Uh, someone here down in uh, Topo is waiting for Metamucil Maddie to come down and help paint the house. Yeah. So uh, a couple of great shout-outs there on 3483. Keep them coming. Yeah, great good. stuff. Those are good. Fellas, well, you know, I think when when you're struggling, and I, I hope it's the case for all of us in this studio, Okay, if you're having a bit of a rough time, that you you let the fellas know yeah, so we can support each other. Because here on the big show, we've got each other's back. Yeah, and to be honest, I have been feeling down a bit lately. So no, It's about me at the moment, Keezy. Um, and... I'll be honest with you, fellas, I've been a bit down in the dumps lately. And as you know, we're going into autumn now. The season's changing and a lot of rain up here in Auckland City. And I was sitting in my lounge this morning, you know, and uh, looking out the window there. It was blowing a gale. It was pissing down. And I was just sitting there, just hanging out for a bit of D. Oh, yeah. But and I, and I and I find that I don't know if you guys are the same. If I don't get enough D, get pretty lethargic. I tend to get a bit depressed, a bit snippy, a bit snippy, a bit. Yes, yeah, yes, I, yes. I, get, I do, Mogi. I yes. do. I get grouchy. Yes, yeah, you do actually. Um, yes. You know, and I 
Uh, you know, I just walk around my house forlornly, longing for D. Yeah. You're talking... And, Do you know, and I, I have a similar thing, man. Do you know when I really crave D? No. When I'm hungover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I ac- yeah. absolutely crave some D. You, sorry, just confirming, we're talking vitamin D, obviously, right? And From the sun. I Easy was to your mind. sitting there today and just going, thinking to myself, having a coffee and it just tasted bleh. Yeah. Like, like, I was thinking to myself, God, what I would give for a bit of D right now. Mm. You know what I mean? Just to pick me up, fellas. Mm. And, but, I, and I think about, um, because if you're not getting D, it does affect you. Of course it does. And I think of all our listeners out there, and there's probably people out there that are in the same boat as old Hoity J, not getting enough D at the moment. How many times have you seen somebody and they're a bit snippy? Yes. You know, a uh, little, bit, little bit antsy in that, and you think to yourself, God, she or he could do with some D. Totally. Plus it's raining a lot at the moment, so. It is. Quite moist as well. Pardon? The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Queens of the Stone Age there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon, 27 minutes past four o'clock. Hey, Big Show ahead too, fellas. Uh, obviously, we've got Nathan from Zed. Yes. Coming in after 5.30. Zed getting back together. That's very exciting. Your chance to win some cash with Wage Against the Machine coming up soon. Another chance to get in the draw for Brizzy. Plus, we've got uh, a Linkin Park album, Paper Cuts, the singles collection to give away on vinyl. Oh, how good. Man. So just stay tuned, all right? Um, last night, I was following a member of the Big Show home. Um, we this, mem- this particular member of the Big Show parks in a car park near me. Uh, we often walk together to the car park from here. Do you hold hands when you do that? Sometimes, because this me- particular member of the Big Show insists on it. Um and I don't want him to get his massive snoz out of joint if I say no to it. So <laughs> last night, the traffic in Auckland City was terrible because it was pissing with rain. It probably took us about 20 minutes to get out of the car park building. Yes, Good I'd times. say so. Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. Are we able to say who this other person is? Oh, it's Jace. Oh, okay. Um, so Jace is in the car directly behind me in the car park line. And this is a, a, a line of traffic that is snaking down a few levels of this particular car park. I'm with you. Just as it gets to the top, this sort of weird second lane starts forming, but it's not really a second lane, just real cunning, annoying drivers are cutting through there. First person to do it, Jace, goes flying past in his Mazda and Beautiful cuts, car cuts that, off Maggie. about six people, <laughs> cuts in line. No. And I'm like, I get it, man. We're all in the traffic together. You're effing and jeffing. You're pissed off. I know. I'll just cut in front of all these people because I'm more important than them. Can yeah. I just qualify That's this horrible. immediately, Mogi? Okay. There were two lanes. One of them was really long for no reason at all. The other one was really short. And it's like, why aren't people using both lanes? That's all it was. It was for a reason. It was for a reason, Mogi. Uh, what was so, the reason? Uh, common courtesy. But and what, it's just more but efficient. Is it, is it two people go out? Two lanes exit at the same time? Is yes, and go about? out the same entrance. No, nah, see, now we're just getting into specifics. <laughs> it's oh, it's sorry. like on a public holiday where they close one lane of the um, passing lane. Right. And the traffic's bad. People hoon up there anyway trying to cut in line. Yeah, yeah, they do. So that was the first thing. Uh, so straight after that, now I'm trailing Hoity J. And we're oh, following, so you're losing. So we're losing. I'm losing, right? Yeah, God, you'd be, f- I was you'd be fuming. far out. Effing and jeffing. So I'm parked up behind Hoity J at the lights. He's got a dart out the window. <laughs> from the twenty minutes of from the twenty minutes of sitting in the car park building, so I'm like, oh, here we go. He's been effing and Jeff. Can I, I tell actually... you, it takes a certain kind of backbone to smoke a dart in a car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I do wait until I'm out of the car park at least. Yeah, yeah, because I could tell that we were sitting there for twenty minutes or something. It was ridiculous. That is, yeah, frustrating. And then there's about four sets of lights you have to go through in order to get onto the Western Motorway, right? So I'm directly behind Jace the whole way. Every single red light we stop at. He stops right up where the pedestrians cross at the traffic light. Incorrect. Maybe. Before them or on it? So pretty much on the line. So they have to walk slightly around the front of his car. Yeah. No, He's like Mogi. a metre so and a half. So they've got to go around his massive nose. They have to go around his massive snout of his car there. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's probably two metres ahead of everyone else. And 
Another thing he does is he edges forward. So he's still winning the that's whole time. Got your goat? Is that what's growing? No, your it's goat? not the he's winning part. Winning. Yeah. It's that he's clearly like just constantly. Like, just let me go, and he's creeping forward at the lights every single light. Jace, before you defend yourself here, mate, can you tell me what your mental state is at this point? Is Keezy accurate that you're Evan Eff- and Jeffin? Not at all. And here's the interesting thing about last night. It was so bad, Mogi, uh, that when I got into my car, I went, "This is going to be an absolute s show." And I'm not going to get stressed about it. I'm choosing not to get stressed about it because it's going to be horrendous. That's great. And I just accepted that in my mind and I was happy. And then how long did it take after you got in the car before you were effing and jeffing? About a minute and a half. (laughs) Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Do what they told you. What they told you. Do what they told you. Do what they told you. It's time to wage against the machine. Winning in the game of. Yes, indeed, it's time to give some cash away this Friday afternoon. We've got Jamie on the line. Jamie, uh, mad bastard, how's life? Oh, g'day, mate. Not too bad. How you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, man. What do you do for a crust, Jamie? Oh, I do uh, cabinetry, just build kitchen. Oh, oh what oh, about yeah, backbone, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. backbone. Sounds bloody good, mate. Now, do you know how this runs, my friend? Yep, yep. Heard it before. Another game. Yeah, okay. So we give you an hourly wage. <laughs> no, nah, JC. I'm going to tell him anyway. Because other people may be listening to the call later on sometime and don't know. Yeah, oh. this, is, this is coming back next week, by the way. Um, okay. So an hourly wage. The hourly wage this time is sixty nine dollars. <laughs> nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. yeah nice. nice. Uh, and you've got to hold nice. on there and go against the machine for as long as you can. And when you do- decide to get out, you've got to say stop. Very clearly, right, Jamie. Ready. Yeah, that's right. And if I'm the machine, uh, if the machine clocks you out, you lose all your cash. Are you a gambling man, Jamie? Oh, I am today. All right. Oh, you ready okay. to go? Ready to go. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> One hour. Two hours. Three hours. (laughs) (laughs) Too much of a good thing there, brother. Three Uh, hours. That's going to be the shortest one we've ever done. Yeah, that is harsh, Jamie. That's all right. That's That's a robbery. Oh, well. Well, you stay on the line and uh, Pugsan and Studio B. Pugsan will give you nothing. He'll, he'll give, he'll you, give something. you a bottle, hey, Pugstan, a bottle or something. Can you give Jamie something, man? Come on, brother. Uh, sorry. Yeah, the three hours. Yeah, gone. exactly. Maybe a Japanese massage. Yeah, yeah that's it, what I'll give you. Oh, I, wouldn't, a, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> But All right, well, we'll hook you up with Pug Sun. We'll chuck you through them now, right, Jamie? Yeah, unfortunately, right, he's in a hurry of a mood, so good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pug Sun. Oh, that was harsh, eh, boys? Yeah. It was harsh. It's but it's a great way to end the week, yeah, man. You know what totally, I'm saying? Totally. To be fair, though, we've been giving away a whole heap of cash thanks to Super Liquor. So, you know, one person missing. That's the first time someone's missed out this week. You see what I'm saying, though? This feels like such a yeah. bit of a down on a Friday. Man. Yeah, I feel. Can you tell me, though, and you know, just out of interest, why do we ask people if they know how it works if we're going to tell them Well, anyway? I don't know. Jace always does it. No, but um, everybody always does it, I think. I yeah. wonder why we ask. It's just an interesting thing. It's just good to, you know, because then there may be people listening that don't know how it works. No, but I, I, know know. He, I know he did. No, I know, but if why we're going we to tell asking? them anyway, who cares if he knows how it works or not? You know like, what I mean? Yeah, so I should just tell him. Yes, yeah, well, and I'm not saying you because every radio station does it, yes. and I'm always interested in yeah. that. Yeah, and because what we don't want to do is get really bogged down and that sort of stuff. Can case. we just litigate this on air? Maybe we'll come back after the break and talk about it then. Well, oh. actually, coming up, um, we've got some sport chat to be getting into, Mogi, because it's a big sporting oh, weekend. It would be a shame because um, I feel like we can really, you know, knuckle down into this chat about how we explain rules. Sh- Are you guys keen on that, man? Well, I, obviously, I let's am. talk about it anyway. Oh, here's a tune. This is a tune. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, the killers there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. The time is exactly 4.47 now. Massive sporting weekend ahead. So let's get into a bit of this, shall we? Golf chat with double bogey mogey. Four! So good. I... I love it when we do new stuff. Yeah, same. Um, and I know you love your You've golf. You've done a great job with that, uh, man. Thanks, great mate. Sting. 
I know you love your golf, Mogi, and uh, Ryan Fox at the moment doing pretty well at the Masters. Is yeah, he, tell how's us it about going? That. How's Pardon? it going? Well, I was hoping you were going to tell because it's it's. <sighs> I'm one of those guys that prefers to play it and watch it, and I'll sort of digest it. Uh, but when it comes to Ryan, <sighs> look, he's going pretty well, right? He's leading. No, and, and, no, just just let me finish if that's all right. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's your it's your segment. There, yeah, just remember that. And so he's three under. He's leading. And then the last couple of holes, two bogeys, drops him back to to one under, which is a bit of a shame. But ultimately, you know, the leader at the moment is sitting at seven under. Yes. Um, So he's a little way off the pace at the moment, but he's in good company because you've got Tiger Woods also at one under. Yes. Um, And so having said that, Tiger hasn't finished his round because weather has interrupted it. He's got to have another crack at it. But it's it's shaping up to be a hell of a Masters. It is, Mogi. The weather is interrupting, uh, extremely windy and having a real effect on the uh, the tee shots. There's a very low percentage hitting the fairways this time around. Um, your short game is going to be absolutely critical. And of course, as always, uh, putting wins majors. Great stuff, Mogi. And now it's... Uh, <laughs> no, let's keep golf chat yeah, with double bogey mogey. What um, else do you need to know? Who, who are you looking at? Who's your favourite? Oh, I've always been a big fan of um, Lydia Ko. Same, no, actually, I'm, uh, yeah. She I mean, is she's one of my favourites. And there's that... Uh, who's that chick from... Uh, not chick, but player. Oh. Um, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, she was good too. So do you reckon double bogey mogey uh, question from someone who doesn't know golf very well? I know. You've told me about your best score. What did you get the other day? 90, 90, 93. 93. 93 and you're stoked about it. <laughs> yeah. Good so, on your brother. Yeah, I'll, one day I'll be double bogey mogey, but for now I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm just old birdie keezy. Yeah. Um, you're 22 over keezy. Because the the weather has been a fit more than that. Uh, because the weather's <laughs> been affecting it. Do you reckon that's why Bryson DeChambeau is leading? Because he's got that powerful drive and he can fight against the weather? Uh, the wind? No, it's more about the accuracy, oh, Keezy. Okay. And so that's a matter of just keeping your drive shots low. You don't want to keep them high in the air. That's when the wind starts affecting it. Yeah. Uh, it's a low trajectory at all costs. And then also having the having the um, temerity, if I can use that word, Keezy, which you won't understand. I don't even know what that is. But if you can have the temerity when you're up at, when you're up at the ball there, when you're standing over the ball there, and when you can hear the wind start rattling through the trees, don't be afraid just to stand up and walk away. Yeah, yes, take through, Just man. reset, reset, De- take De- a breath. Deschambeau is actually a very interesting character. A very unusual Sorry, this is technique. Logan's I know. Right? I no, you're right, you're right. You're right. Uh, he's got a very unusual technique. Spent a lot of time in the gym and revolutionised his body. Well, he Bulked actually... Bulked up big time. He's actually from Florida and he was raised in the Bayou. Um, and he actually got his strength from wrestling gators. Really? Oh, is that right? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's right. And, um, like, and when fishing? he was about five years old, he came out and his mama, as he used to call her mama. before, she was being eaten by half a dozen alligators. Half a dozen? Yeah, and so ever since then... He's been good at golf. He's wanted to be able to wrestle alligators. Right. But it's too late because she's dead, you know? And Well, there you go. Uh, golf with double bogey mogey. Why do they call you that, by the way? Um... I don't know. I, probably because I've never got one. Ah, oh, that makes sort sense. of like pars and birdies yeah, and eagles yeah, and shit. Yeah, so yeah. sort of like a joke nickname, you know, because oh, I've never you. got one in my life. Like, like you, if I called you four over keys. I thought you were going to say small nose. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. T-Rex there on the Radio Hodaki uh, Big Show this Friday afternoon. Now, of course, being a Friday, we've got the Friday Throbber coming up next. The theme today, rain feels. Throbber. 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 Rain, yeah, because yeah. the weather bomb's here. Yeah, yeah. Can I also... Um, just a wee tip of the old Captain Mogi there who had no idea that Double Bogey Mogi's golf rap was going to happen. Yeah, that was a surprise to And me. you pulled the most <laughs> bullshit out I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, and, and fairly accurate too, to be it fair. Was. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, fairly I, accurate. I, I'm not a big fan of golf, to be fair, but yeah. <laughs> I find occasionally, I find it quite... <clears throat> Sedating. I I love a major though. Yes, I, so I, do I. I haven't watched I I haven't watched one since I think the last one would have been when Tiger won it five years ago. Right, and that was, that was glorious, unreal. Yeah. And it's sort of like when you've got a player like that, you watch it. Just it's like that. Shane Warne or yes, you know Jordan totally. or whatever. Hey, so uh, stay tuned. Coming up next, uh, we've got the thropper. Also, Nathan from Zed. Coming in, Zed has reformed fellas. It certainly has reformed, uh, which is bloody exciting. That'll be happening after 5.30 along with a new tune of theirs. Also, uh, we've got a few copies of Linkin Park's Paper Cuts. It is the singles collection. It is sort of like a best of situation. Oh, God. 
Guys, we, we need to get a compilation of Casey burping on ear. I did not burp on ear. Absolutely foul guys. Guys, so it's a, it's basically a compilation of all their singles. It's on vinyl, and we've got a few of those to give away uh, as part of the Friday Throbber. So everyone that calls up on 0800 Hodaki has a decent chance of what? Oh, Casey, that was God's you. sake. Oh. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from 4 on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yeah, welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope your Friday's going along very nicely indeed. If you've never heard of the Friday Throbber before, basically each of us here in the studio, i.e. myself, Mogi and Keezy, we each pick a tune to kick off your Friday night heading into the weekend. Then you give us a call on 0800 Hodaki and decide which song you like best. First to two wins. That's, That's right. exactly right. Um, currently the leaderboard is the man Keezy at the front uh, with four each. Hoity J sitting back there on two. He's ready to pounce. The theme this week is rain. Yes. And uh, let's kick it off, Keezy. Whoever you like. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there's no need for that kind of language, Come on, man. Keezy, this is public Burping radio. And swearing, man. Gee, oh, how many beersies have you had? Actually, just on that, we do have a bit of a swearing complaint that we need to address after the throw. Oh, yeah, good. Um, okay, I'll just go for this one, which is mine. Of course, one of the greatest rock songs ever. Give me shelter from the rain by the Rolling Stones. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, That's yeah. a good one, man. That's good. You like that? Do you That's like them, man? Yeah, I do really like them. You're right. That is a good one. That's good true. stuff, Keezy. Eyes to the front, Mogi. Jesus. Just looking at that woman's sandwich board. She's oh, yeah. sandwich I don't care what you call board. it, man. Hey, this is my one. <laughs> What's the matter, Hoity J? Oh, no. We could be in the first time ever. <laughs> Judging by the look on Hoity J's face, it could be the first time that we've ever picked the same song. I, never meant to call you I love that tune, Mogi. It's a good tune. It's a really huh? good tune. Well, I guess I chose it first. You did. So what did Hoity J choose? Here's his song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. That is interesting. It's pissing down. <laughs> oh. Well, Lord. what do you think about that? I guess um, first to two, it just depends whether they like yours, Keezy, or whether they like each of our different versions of Purple Rain there. What and so Jay? if you're voting for Jace or Mike, you have to say Purple Rain, Mogi Edition, yeah. or Hoity J Edition. That's right. So okay. give yeah. us a call now, sure. 800 Hodaki. We've got uh, a few copies of that fantastic new Linkin Park uh, paper cuts vinyl to give away. So 800 Hodaki, you may as well get stuck in. I think whoever wins out of you two, if one of you two does win, maybe an asterisk oh, next to it. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, indeed, and the theme uh, for this Friday's Throbber is rain. Oh, rain. Here's my song. Give me shelter by the Rolling Stones. Great stuff, Keith. Here's my song. That's the best part of the song. Purple rain, yeah, you picked man. the best part I of the song. I love this man. version of it. Like, if you didn't pick that part of the song, then I, yeah. I wouldn't vote for it. Well, I mean, obviously, if you're going to play the song, you'll play the whole song. What do you mean? So, I mean, your version of it's kind of irrelevant. No, like, this, up. if you had to is, pick a part this, of a song to play, it would be that is, little start part. This is, this is a song I chose. Purple rain, purple rain. Get the, get the lighters out, man. That's a shitter. Get the, get the out. What I don't yeah, understand baby. is why did you choose like a random, what is that, the bridge in the song? Yeah. It's not even the chorus or like the good bit. You chose the weirdest part of it. Well, actually, funnily enough, and, and I'm only just learning this now, um, Pug said to me, don't use the start of that song, which is what I was going to do, but now I know why. <laughs> Brendan, you mad bastard, how's life? 
Yeah, good, mate. How you going, boy? Yeah, yeah. good, thanks, yeah, good mate. What are you running with there, Brendan? Oh, mate, we've got to be running with Mogi's Purple Rain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One vote for Mogi Purple Rain. <laughs> what the... F- all right. <laughs> G'day, Tracy. How's life? Oh, brilliant. Thanks, matey. Yeah, good on you, mate. So what are you running with there, Tracy? Oh, it has to be Prince all the way. Oh, yeah. Yes. Who, Whose version? version? Hoity J's or Mogi's? Mm, let's go Mogi's. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is, the good thing is, it is a tune and we get to play it. It, it is, is a, a tune. tune. And also, uh, Brendan and Tracy, who both just voted on the Throbble, will both get themselves a copy of that new Linkin Park vinyl as well. <laughs> Not on my watch, they won't. <laughs> so, who won? So, Mogi won. Yeah. Does wow. he get an asterisk with that? Well, nah. no, he won fair and square. Wait, so. What? You would have got the asterisk because you copied Moki. I did not. <laughs> oh, this is just getting ridiculous. But hey, tune, tune. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Tune. 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 Nice one, Mogi. Thanks, man. So, just looking at the scores now. Uh, Mogi on five, Keezy on four, Hoity oh. J on two. Mr. Take Speaker, a, if I might. Taking the, tough. Take Mr. the lead. Mr. Chase, Speaker, if take, I might. Taking the if lead. If I might. We've got pugs in here. G'day. I am absolutely fuming. Yeah. I can name at least two occasions <laughs> where I have been told by Pugsan, no go, Hoity J, it's already taken. Oh, I was the first to choose that song today. How do you and know? yet somehow Pugsan allowed Mogi to choose it too. Can I just ask, how do you know that you were the first? Because he said he did it much later on in the day and I did it almost instantly. Okay, that's valid. Can I also just jump in here, Jace? Both of you were on the table for voting purposes and they chose to vote for Mogi. Yeah. So it's fair and square. What I'm saying is he should never have been allowed to play that as his tune. Right, I see. Well, Pugsan, what about the part in the last break where Hoity J accused you mm. of changing his little clip that he played? What do you have to say to that? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Look, whenever you guys send in your submissions for the Throbber, I'll usually ask, hey, where do you want it to play from? Yeah, what part exactly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know. I had Mike say, I trust your... No, it was you that said, I trust your instincts on where to play it from, Jace. I was going to play it from the start yeah. because you said to me, and uh, I quote, "Go on, you're not going to play it from the start, are you? No, that's not what I said at all. Right. Go on, pull your phone out, mate. Mike said, from the top. He yeah. also called me stud, which I really Yeah, I did really say that as well. That. I, said, I needed that today. I, I officially, what I said was at 11.37am, I said, purple rain from the top, stud. And yeah. I got no response. Go on, Jace. Purple Rain by Prince Pugs, 9.36am. Tune, says Pugs. I assume not from the top. Yeah. But but he answered you before I told him the song. The crux of the matter is this. But it's up to you where it comes, where it yes, starts it from. Yes, it is. But yeah. the crux of so the matter is this. You just made an argument that Pugs told you not to play it from the top because you thought that I had already chosen that, but I hadn't chosen the song at that point, so part of your argument falls over. Excuse me. I did not make that argument. Keezy did. I did not. And I'm what? saying, you just said what? to him, now listen. Jace, I, it was an even playing field I for the want, both of you. I want clarity on You're this. You're not in a hoor of a mood, are you? Is that not Jace. right that I have been denied playing a song because someone else has chosen it? I don't know. Can I say? Can can I what say? What does it matter? Can I say that I always, <laughs> I always assumed that if we chose the same song, we would be allowed to keep the same song because mm. it's funnier that we have to ha- play the same song and then somebody is choosing based on who's going to be in the worst mood if they choose the other person. And that has proven to be the case. Well, <laughs> but that <laughs> falls apart <laughs> because I haven't been given that opportunity. Oh. Twice. Jace, Jace, Jace. Can I, Jace, just quickly. Oh. Jace. I'm not playing anymore. Jace, just Jace quickly. Jace is not happy. Is it bugging you? <laughs> it's bugging the shit it's out of me. bugging me. <laughs> well, here, this will cheer you up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Here they come. Try time. Oh. Holy cow, the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up the Warriors, baby. It's the Big Show in Brizzy for the NRL match.
Magic Round. Feels like magic. Feels like magic. Is there anyone out there? Let's go to the phones. Yes, indeed, not far away now. James, your massive backbone. How's life? James? Ja- oh, good day, mate. Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm here. How are yeah, you? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. What do you do for a crust, James? I'm a builder. Oh, oh, bad bad bad. And you love your rock the league, James. Oh, I love the league, mate. Yeah, up the waz. Yeah, yeah, good on you, good mate. And, and who are you going to take with you if you win this amazing prize? Oh, my beautiful girlfriend, Christy. Oh, okay. Are you going to propose to her over there? My future wife. Do you love her? Oh, I do. If I win the trip, I certainly will. Good on oh, you, mate. Oh, okay. right. oh, Here we go. Oh, he's throwing down the ball. Do you reckon she'll say yes, man? <laughs> What's that? Do you reckon she'll say yes? Uh, yeah, I think she will. I think she will. Yeah, I hope she does. Yeah. Good on you, James. Well, I'll chuck you over to Studio B. Uh, good luck with that. Pugs is in a hoor of a mood. <laughs> Charlie, you mad bastard. How's life? I'm good, mate. How's yours? Yeah, good, thanks, man. What do you do for a crust, Charlie? Um, I dispatch trucks, mate. Oh, oh. oh backbone. Bad 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 uh, and you love your Wapa League, Charlie. Oh, I do, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Waz or mate. some other team? No, 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 no. Stick it to the locals, mate. Yeah, yeah, good boy. on you, mate. And who would you take with you if uh, we you to win? Oh, I think I would take my uncle. Actually, oh. he's, uh, he's, he's even a bigger uh, Warriors fan than me, so I suppose he would, he would love it, actually. Oh, you're joking. Good on you, What's Charlie. your uncle's name, Charlie? Uncle Bully. Uh, Lee. Uncle Lee. 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 Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. Good yeah. Good on you, mate. Nice. Well, you stay on the yeah, line, mate. Pugsan. Uh, we'll take care of you. I Dave. Charlie yeah. and Lee, the home killer from Tiaomudu. I'm keen. Excellent. Dave, you mad bastard. How's life? Dave. What's the, are people just calling up and leaving their phone on? I don't know. Are you there, Dave? On hold. Dave, brother. What are you up to, Gus? Hey, Dave. Dave. Hey. hey. Yeah, here he is. What's going on, Dave? Oh, I thought it was some home killer from Dick the Woody or some bloody thing. Yeah, oh, <laughs> right. that, was the, that was the other fella. Hey, who would you take with you if you won, Dave? Oh, I'd have to take my wife. Oh, yeah, good oh, on you, yeah, nice. Will you wait on the line too and Puck Sam will take care of you, all right? No worries. Uh, Why'd you say it like that? <sighs> I don't know, Keezy. Just... Still thinking about that loss, aren't you? I- I'm still filthy about it, to be honest. I guess what, what guts me about it is that, you know, for the first time this year I've taken the lead mm. and sort of Jace's protest has overshadowed that. It should be a proud moment for me and my whanau. But instead, it's not. Well, it's just Jace making it all about him, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right, Mogi. I apologise, man. I apologise, fellas. <laughs> also up next, uh, one of the fellas from Zed. Oh, from oh Nathan. Man. Nathan coming in, new music. Oh, there he is. Together. That guy's a good-looking fella, isn't oh, there he? there he is. He's a great-looking fella. He's a bloody good-looking you know, fella. Gee whiz, he's a couple of years older than you, Woody, Jay. Looks like he could be your son. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. She hard there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. Hey, fellas. Yeah. Fellas. Do you remember Zed? Fellas, the band Zed. Do you remember them, fellas? Sure do, Jace. Why is yeah. that? Uh, about, around about the 2000s, I'm thinking. Uh, they were huge, man. They it, were huge. They were huge, yeah. I always liked the front man, Nathan. I thought he yeah, was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. Good looking fella, too, yeah, actually, yeah, I yeah. thought, back in the day. Now, Speaking of which, Zed are back together, and Nathan's in the studio with us. Nathan, you mad bastard. How's life? G'day, g'day. Good. <laughs> you guys, what the? <laughs> yeah. You're talking about me like I'm not here. Yeah, that's right. Well, well I, yeah, love we, I love we, it. We kind of do that. But, Go uh, away. Geez, you're looking good, man. Have you been working out? Um, yeah, a little. Yeah. Uh, just just a bit of the old body weight exercise, oh, nice. you know, oh, yeah, as, sure. as middle-aged men do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Not what, too much weight there. Yeah, no, what, no. what kind of weights are you, apart from the body, are you using? You know, oh, what I'm, sort of... No, I don't I don't lift any iron at all. Oh, right. No, I, I'm purely just me. I, yeah. I, I, I sort I'm of a, go 150, 180 kgs on the old bench press ooh, there and... Yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, you, but how's life, man? What's going on? This is exciting news that you guys are back together doing all sorts of stuff. It is. It's it's Ripper. Um, we um, Ripper. That's an old word, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty choice. I think yes, choice. It's ace. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, it's just it's just good times. We as a band decided. Look, we we enjoy playing live together. We'd had a little couple of opportunities to play live, and we thought that was fun. We should do more of that. How do we do more of that? Well, we you know put ourselves out there a bit more. But then we thought. Actually, some new music wouldn't help. Uh, wouldn't hurt, I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it might not help. Might not help. Oh, that might have been yeah, a little yeah, yeah. slip there. Yeah, um, yeah. 
Yep. And, well, I mean, uh, particularly yeah. if it's appallingly bad. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it's not going to help you if it's appallingly bad. And we were conscious of that. You know, there's a lot of people are like, now, careful, there's a lot of people, a lot of fans of mini bands through the years who were like, wish they'd just not yep. got back on the yeah. horse and done yeah, that, yeah, that, sure. that fourth or fifth album. It just sucked. But we thought we'll take the risk and we'll we'll be the judges of that. You know, like as in... We'll make it, and if it sucks, we won't release it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is it, cool. Are you happy. able to do something, it sucks, and then be aware of that? Because like we do really terrible stuff all the time, and we think it's great. <laughs> you know, like is that is that something you're actually able to spot? Yeah, as long as you, like as long as you're not drunk, I think you're fine. You yeah. can you can you can be objective. You you'd step away from it for a while, and then you come back and go, no, that's actually not not as good as we hope. I mean, we, there were a lot of songs written for this album, and a lot of them didn't make the cut because they were pretty average. But right. then you know. We were able to sift through. And the cool part too was that this time round, all three of the four of us who would normally do some writing really stepped up. And um, especially our guitarist who hadn't done a lot of writing on the last two records. And yes. he um, he brought a lot of really great material to the plate, which, yeah, I think was fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Mm. Nathan from Zed, uh, quick question. 2004, you guys disbanded, is that right? Around then? Mm, yes. Uh, what brought that about? Why'd you quit? So it was 20 years ago. Oh, we were just over each other. Have you had, yeah. just had a guts full? You just went, no, nah, fellas, I'm going solo. I'm oh. going Robbie Williams on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, that was not how it <laughs> rolled, actually. I, you know what? There was actually probably about six, like half a dozen reasons that sure. they aligned. One of the big ones, though, and I just want to pay tribute to him, was that our bass player, Ben, his father had really helped encourage us to get the band going in the very first place. And we were touring in Germany in 2004, and then um, he got cancer and and went downhill real fast and ended up dying right. that year and it really ripped the guts out of our band like he'd been a real mentor to us he'd he'd sort of been the sort of the the thing that really the helped drive us force. along yeah, you know okay. like I mean we had our own momentum of course but he was such a big part of our story and when he died I think we felt like it was the end of a chapter sure. for right. the band and so we just took a break so that's almost like he was Another member of the band then, right? Because that's a kind of reaction to it. That's, it was. That's very... He was very important. Rare I've not heard of that mm. happening where somebody from outside of the people mm. that go on stage passes away or you lose touch with and that, that affects the, the end of the band. That's, yeah. He must have been pretty amazing. He was an amazing guy and we, we loved him to bits. And, and at the same time, you know, I, I, there was half a dozen reasons, but that was the that was the big one for us. Yeah. And and, and that sort of just coincided with a whole bunch of other things that made us go, eh, actually, yeah. maybe so I, In my memory, you, know, you, were, you guys were, you were huge. I vaguely remember that you got a, a deal overseas. I remember the very mm. expensive video clips. Yeah, very very hot Nathan in the front there smiling as well. and, and you deserve to be smiling Nathan life was looking pretty good and then all of a sudden that was it and that has happened with quite a few New Zealand bands where you're thinking oh here we go yeah. another one that springs to mind is Weta and yes. then and it's and it's gutting for a music fan's point of view because you really think oh here is a band that's going to kick some ass yeah and then you're oh. like what the, what happened to that band you get like one shot at it and, yeah and also you spend a lot of money. On that shot mm. is, is the reality. Now, right. especially over in the states where we were um, spending our time, um, you know, we were we, you know, oh, honestly, the amount of money we spent on right. videos and promo and travelling and everything else to try and make it happen was yeah. was astronomical. Well, I tell you what, Nathan, um, let's have one of your new tunes, eh? Yeah, well, and let's then do we'll it. get back and have a bit more of a chit chat. You can be the judge of whether yeah. we should have got back on the horse or not. I already love it, man. It's called <laughs> waiting game. Wicked. And this is Ed. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Waiting game there by Zed. Uh, speaking of which, we've got uh, Nathan in the studio with us. Great, great song, mate. Sounded good. Mm, thank you. You happy? Was, yeah, I was happy with that one. And you know what? I like that song too because it's a little blend of our bass player Ben. He actually sings the lead in that one, right? Uh, and I'm sort of just snuck in there. It's about a, like a 70 30 percent ratio oh, yeah. of sure. our voices, yeah, which we've right. never done before. We'd sort of always either one of us sing it or the other. So yeah, it was cool. It was sure a nice little was. experiment. Worked right. out. And what's it like? I mean, um, just being back in radio studios, plugging signals and uh, singles Single. and stuff again. Is it a dream? Oh, it's, it's, is it weird <laughs> it's to be back? Like, it's Nathan. weird to be back, but honestly, it's like it's like riding a bike, mate. It's great. I, I'm I'm stoked. I'm just stoked to be able to put music out again and uh, yeah, have so people enjoy it. I'm imagining now that you guys have got back together, you, there's some work in progress going on, an, mm. an album maybe a little bit further down the line, perhaps. Yep, yep. we've been squirreling uh, songs away, and and uh, yep, in the studio. Yep, 
enjoying ourselves making new tunes. So. Can I ask too, because I'm, I'm curious about it, you know, when, when Z initially broke up and when was it? 2004. 2004 uh, yeah. What did you get up to for, uh, during that, that that sort of hiatus period? I, um, what sort of things interested you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I made more music. I did a couple of albums myself yep. as Nathan King and then also the other chaps in the band at various points were part of, uh, formed Atlas. And, and, oh, um, wow, Crawl. Yeah. You yep. see what Crawl I'm saying, man? Now that was another band where I was mm. like, well, surely this band's going to be huge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. I know that they, they were great as well. I was a bit miffed because I was the only guy of, the, was... of Z that wasn't in that. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on there, man? You start yeah. getting a bit paranoid, it's, self-conscious. Yeah. It's like yeah, the know. guys from Rage Against the Machine going off and making audio yeah. slave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I wish you all the best, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're back, yeah, we're breaking the band up. But oh. uh, <laughs> um, and Nathan from Z. Now that you guys are back together again, I mean, it's been twenty years since you uh, split. Essentially, the mm. the way you guys go about songwriting and even getting together and finding time to record that must be vast. Different. Mm, it is because we're in different parts of the country as well. So a right. couple of the chaps are still down in Christchurch where we originally formed, and um, Andy, our guitarist, and I are up in Auckland. And so we um, we have to do the old you know passing ideas around uh, digitally initially, mm. but right. yeah, just making time to get together and do it in the flesh. Is that the, just seems the to be the way it is these days, man. I mean, we talk to a lot of bands and they're all over the place. Yeah, it's you amazing. know, and uh, uh, it's. I guess technology and stuff opens up a few more doors yeah. and, and, and you can collaborate that way. And, and you know, when you think about um, going through the whole COVID period where musicians couldn't get together or whatever. Mm, um, exactly. It's a really common thing. That really, like, cranked it up another notch. But, yeah, it's all possible now. I remember, um, you know, the the chaps from um, Stereogram yeah. back in the day, I remember not too long after they sort of finished up their last record, one of the guys in the band started working with another couple of guys. One guy was in America, one guy was in Europe, and he was in New Zealand. And he was telling me about how he's sending files and doing it that way. And I just thought it was mad. I was like, how's how's that ever going to work? But they made some great tunes yeah. like with what they did. And and now we're in the position where it's just it's way easier to do that. So right. yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a quick question? This is something that's been on my mind for over 20 years. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Who came up with the lyric, um, changing Renegade Fighter to Renegade Fighter? Is that in the song? I, I don't I'm think. a Renegade Fighter. Fight, fights uh, because what we're doing is we're looking for the big bucks from the the drug companies, right? That's fight for Pfizer. Fight. I haven't heard I that. Think Pfizer. Is it? Is it Pfizer? Maybe it's a misheard song lyric, but because I've heard that song a million times coming up, and it's like you know I'm, I'm a renegade fighter, but yeah. then I swear towards the end you start saying Pfizer. But oh, oh, well that's interesting because that's like that reminds me. I'm going to dig you out of this massive hole you're in here, Casey. <laughs> But that reminds me of when I was a kid and there's history never repeats, I tell myself before I go to sleep yeah. and then I'd argue with my next door neighbour, he would say before I go to school. What? And I've never worked out which one it is. And maybe it's both, but I do know what you mean, Keezy. Mm. Yeah, so it's not yeah. fights at all? Not 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 on purpose. Hey, right. we might have just in slurring near the end there. In, right. in fairness, Keezy, uh, remember you had the issue with the ears. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually quite it's a, it's it's quite sweet, really. Don't Ke- start talking about my childhood, <laughs> no, Chase. No, but Keezy always get, he sings tunes all the time, and he always gets the lyrics wrong. Yeah, you know does. what I mean? It's like, no, that's not how it goes, we've, Keezy. But good on you. We've mate. all done that, that's for yeah. sure. But yeah, no, I'm thinking you've you're on something there because I think if we do hit up the drug companies and turn it into Renegade Pfizer, Pfizer, then Pfizer we've yeah. got some. We're hitting some gold yeah, right there. It's only four four years late, but yeah, I thought you could still do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well. Well, uh, Nathan, thanks so much for coming in, man. All the best for the upcoming army. Any kind of time frames you're thinking here? Maybe June, middle, July? Yeah, June, July, middle of the year-ish. We're, we're hoping to throw the album out there if we can get it all wrapped and, and rolling. It's Yeah, it's sounding real good and it's super close. So Bloody yeah. ripper. Well, Excited. it's good to have you back, mate. Yeah, man. Yeah. Good oh, on thanks, you, man. Thanks, guys. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, bit of push, push there on your Friday night. Uh, coming up after six o'clock. Uh, apparently, I uh, did something atrocious on the radio yesterday that I need to apologise for, of which I know nothing. It is just, let's just say it's BSA related, right? Okay, Broadcasting Standards Authority. Also, uh, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue now? It's, uh, you know, we're getting into the winter period now. A lot more time inside. So, if you want to know what to watch on TV, you got to tune into that, eh, fellas? That's, That's right. So true. So good. Wow. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. You're listening to The Big Show brought to you by Night and, and Day. Really good, guys. All timer. I wonder if really Night good. and Day like that or not. 
Well, how could they not? Yeah, that's, that's true. You know question. what I mean? It's so harmonious. Have you heard about the Mogi special? Oh, yeah. What is the Mogi special again? So because the Masters are on, they're doing a double bogey Mogi special. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get a, a couple of meatballs. Oh, pork like. mints. No, that's a Keezy special. Oh, that's true. This is uh, tofu. Tofu. Yeah. Little tofu balls. Balls. Um, and you get some like breadsticks. Oh, do they do breadsticks? Yeah, and it's like it's almost like golf club and ball. It's yeah, quite cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. And three dillies. <coughs> so good. And that's sorry, Chase. Eight ninety nine. That's a deal. That's good eating. It's a really good deal. <laughs> really good eating. Uh, speaking of deals, uh, there were the radio awards uh, today, fellas. I don't know if you know that. Oh, of course part I know. Of, part of them. Um, and we didn't win anything. Part one of them. Well, we, we, I don't think we were nominated for anything. I don't no, think we were. We were nominated for oh, a lot really? of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, well, we were. Don't, we weren't nominated, but we put in. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah, we yeah. weren't nominated. No, no, no. no we no, we were we won't be nominated. So the podcast outro today was very much focused on our rage yeah. Um, it was, at, at not being awarded for our was, sterling yeah, radio work. It was us throwing our toys because we didn't win. Here's a wee clip of today's one. People who are judging it are people who have been on radio a long time. That's right. They The big show is not what they want to listen to at all. They go, oh, this is weird. I'm not into it. It's just like backbone. I mean, yeah. Aussies, and I listen, yeah, I listened to that and was like, this is how it's done, obviously. Yes. But this just... Yeah, I wouldn't want to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mogi admitting that he doesn't like the sound of our radio show. Yeah, yeah so we don't even back ourselves, so why is anyone else going to back us? Good one, Mogi. Yeah, I guess so. I never thought about it that way. Um, why don't we... Sorry, why don't we clip this part off and send this in? You know what I mean? As f- f- Award-winning, you mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, about actually, not again. aren't you going over to um, Bali soon? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do some award-winning radio and that sort of... that. <laughs> Sort of week there. Good luck with that old Keezy <laughs> here. Uh, here's a bit of Rage Against the Machine. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. REM there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday. I hope it's going along very nicely for you indeed. Hey guys, do you mind if I have some breaking news? Sure. This is breaking news. Uh, unfortunately, a member of the Big Show has had the finger of justice pointed squarely at it. At yesterday's it. show. At, at it or at them? Or at him. At it. Is what at they it. said. Okay. Um, something someone said on this very show, on yesterday's show, should not have gone to air in New Zealand and oh is now God. extremely... It has us sitting in a very vulnerable position in terms of Broadcasting Standards Authority complaints. Right. So I'd just like to play you the piece of audio from yesterday's show and the person who was involved can just sort of give yeah. their thoughts on it. Here we go. This Thursday afternoon now... Right, so it was me, was it? Apparently it was you. Do you want to hear it one more time, Jace? Sure. This Thursday afternoon now. Yeah. So that's terrible. Yeah. You're damning. Yeah. To be honest, Keezy, I actually don't give a <laughs> And if anyone has any issue whatsoever, they can go <laughs> themselves. Wow. Um, and if the BSA uh, comes anywhere near me, They'll get a very loud and firm off. Right. Um, well, so there'll our... be no apology from Hoity J. Good on you, mate. I am done with this. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I just needed to get that off my chest. Is that the official stance on the whole big show? Um, well, it's certainly Hoity J's stance. He, he's taking his own position there. He takes his own risks. Yeah, That's right. But I, but I also do know that I'm backed up by the fellas on the big show. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? I know, the one thing I know for sure is that you guys have my back. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry, that was someone protesting outside our window. Yeah, well, why do you think? It's because of your bloody F-bombs. Oh, do you think it was my F-bombs yeah, that did absolutely. it? Yeah, I think they're not too happy with your guys' massive honkers stealing all the oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, Mogi. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh. God, I love me a bit of muse. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue? Yeah. 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 Um. Eh, I watch 
Baltimore Seinfeld last night, but I'm not going to talk about that, Hoity J. Tonight, I'm going to go back into the archives um, in celebration of the death of O.J. Simpson. Um, I'm going to talk about a documentary called O.J. Made in America. It is a documentary series that came out in 2016, and it talks about his whole life and then also his crime and the trials and how he got found innocent. It interviews the um, the jurors from the time, and also it's against the backdrop of what racism was like in the States at the time. It is an absolutely incredible, I think it's a four-parter. I've seen it. It's In fact, it's eight hours long. It's I'm Netflix, just looking at it here. right? Seven yeah. hours, 47. One of the all-time great documentaries. Yes, I've seen it. I sat down and watched that with probably three bottles of wine and a pack of the darts. <laughs> Bloody beautiful it was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Get it, get into that if you can. It's an incredible doc. I, now, I'm going to re-encourage you here, Mogi. To Is that revisit, a word, man? I think you can do better than that. To revisit Ripley. You're going to implore me. I'm going to ask you to keep with it. Yeah. Because unlike other series where it starts off with a hiss and a roar, yeah. and then they fade off into oblivion, this one gets stronger and stronger. There's... A magnificent episode that we watched last night where basically he kills someone. Whoa, whoa. And then has to get rid of the body. Whoa. And it's pretty much the entire episode, but the way that they deal with it, the stress, the exhaustion, the just constant things going wrong. It was so beautifully done. It was mesmerising. And you made the comment yesterday or the day before, you reckon you could play that part. Sir, (laughs) me thinks not. Can I just say what I said was based on the first episode where he did practically nothing that I could. Sure. And and I was not not watching it. I'd only watched one episode. You don't need to implore me. I implore you. (laughs) I'm going to watch it, but at the moment I've got like 20 minutes to watch something before I go to sleep. What episode of Seinfeld did you watch? No. Um, I watched the one where um, Jerry is sleeping with somebody who's potentially a phone sex worker. Oh, yeah. And uh, Elaine is going out with a really good-looking guy who... Falls off a cliff while oh, the uh, rock, rock climbing, climbing with, with Kramer George. and George. Yeah, 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 it's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a good one, JC. I implore you <laughs> to watch that. Keezy, <laughs> what? What did you watch? Uh, last night I was going to watch. Oh, we watched First Responders. Yeah. Which is uh, about uh, the Westpac helicopter that rescues people. But then drama. Yeah, like that, but so much better. And uh, basically, it was a full episode of people. Breaking their leg, they arrive, put them on the... Is it uh, ketamine? Yes. I hope so. And then the people are really funny. Yeah. And then they fly them to safety. Nice. And it was that three times. Cool. Great stuff, Keezy. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. that on? TVNZ Plus. Oh, right. we are being recording. It is one me, of just, the great documentaries. Just let me write that down. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The Mutton Birds there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. Now, listen, uh, big sporting weekend ahead. And, of course, uh, as always, the ACC will be commentating some of those big matches, namely the Wars, also the Hurricanes. That's uh, right. Fellas. Canes and the Chiefs, they are playing down in Wellington at the Caketon there. 7 o'clock before that, at 5 o'clock, the Wars are taking on Manly Seagulls at home. So, from 5 till 9, the ACC's got you covered on Sky Sports 9. Okay. It's, it's a bit of a bugger for me because I'll probably be making love during that time. Yeah. For four hours. Uh, yeah, booked a hotel and de- Oh. So, we- so I, de- I, mean, I, might, yeah. I mean, I could probably have it on in the background, yeah. but, uh, but I might find that a little bit distracting. You can have it on in the background while you're having it off in the foreground. Yeah. That's, yeah, good point, Mogi. Good yeah. point. Because yeah. your wife's away this weekend, eh? She's down south. <laughs> yeah, she's on a... Uh, she's... Uh, on another aerobics tour. Yeah, so do you um, always busy. just get a hotel solo and... Yeah, just spend some time. For, well, it was actually Mogi that gave me the idea. He said, you know, having some time out just mm. to think things through is a really good thing. Yeah. yeah. So, just But as the, I well, say, I'll be making love at that point. When I said to work things out, that's not what I meant. Right. You just mm. meant to... Hey, you fellas, did you know that these sporting events coming up this weekend are all thanks to Deliver Easy? And then nah. if you listen to the ACC, you could score yourself some food from the cheferie. Yeah, whenever there's just a, on that. Whenever there's a Are we happy about that? Cheferie? Yeah. I don't know. Cheferie, you happy with that? 
I'm that, neutral on that. That might Mogi. be the biggest stretch I've heard. Sheffery, Sheffery, yeah, yeah, maybe Sheffery. But if there's a yellow or red card, then uh, that's when you you could possibly win some food. Oh, right. that's, that's, so, that's good though. So what I want is. Um, Foul play. That's right. That's what You're I'll be hoping for foul I'll play. I'll be celebrating foul play. That's okay. right. Yeah, yeah, I could get behind that. And the chef will hook you up. The chef will hook me up. Yeah, yeah, Sweet yeah. as. So good. So from 5 o'clock onwards, this sad D, make sure you got it on Sky Sport 9 with the ACC. Yeah, good stuff, Keys. Good on you, man. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go, you massive backbones. That's the big show uh, for the week. Of course, we'll be back same time, same place next Monday. Mogi, your plans for the weekend, mate? Oh, pretty bloody exciting, man. I'll be going along and watching some kids' soccer games. Oh, cool. So that'll be good. Yeah. Um, and then what else is on? I'm going to probably – I'm going to walk up and down some streets and try and find some clothes shops. Sure. Since I've sort of been in uh, – this rela- not so much the whole relationship, but certainly the last five or so years with the kid, you sort of lose touch about where clothes are. So I'm going to walk up and down some sh- some streets and see if I can find some clothes shops that I can count on. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Because I man. know that your wife does all your clothes shopping for you. Pretty much. But my wife doesn't do that for me, so but, I need to stand on my own two feet a little bit. But she doesn't do that at clothes shops. She does it at op shops. She does to the Sally's. Yeah, yeah the she Sally's. Yeah, that, and, but, but, you know. I, look, I'm open to that as well. Sure, yeah. sure. Keezy, what are you up to, mate? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, straight after this, I'm going to like a PlayStation New Zealand thing. That's cool. Get some free stuff. So I'm looking oh, forward to that. God. And then I'm going to watch... A sickening amount of rugby league for the weekend. Who's yeah, playing great tonight? stuff, mate. Uh, that's a really good question. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's what really useful, to, Jay? Uh Well, as I say, uh, tonight I'll just take it easy, watch a bit of sport, a bit of rugby. Who's playing tonight? Uh, a bit Who's of playing rugby tonight? league? Uh, no idea. Um, tomorrow I'm, I've got a busy day, actually. Lots oh, going it's on. A busy day. Ho- hotel, going up for dinner, then going to a movie. What movie um, are you going to? The Devil Sees Fit or something? No, The Devil Wears Prada. No, this is a 1970s film, and we're going to be watching it at the Academy. Nice. Uh, we're going to start going to the Academy a bit, watching old, you know. How old were you old when that came Jay out? movies. I wasn't even out then, Keezy. I might come down and sit behind you. Sure, man. I might You're come down and to. sit in front of you. <laughs> oh, you, you're just begging me to make a honker joke there, aren't you? Sure. Yeah. Well, you can sit behind me and rest your honker on my head. <laughs> hey, it's been a pleasure bringing you the show. As always, you have a safe weekend. Till Monday. Uh, See you later. Yeah.